Hello everyone, welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs for a nice round episode 50. While this whole thing down here is getting sort of, is, is churning through and getting things ready and we're hopefully going to start using up this iron so things start running a bit better down here, I've decided the next thing I want to do is try and build up a factory, a sub factory somewhere else to build all of, all of the circuits with all of this nonsense here. And also, I've, I've, because the, it seems that um, the construction bots also require a similar set of parts, I'm going to try and do that in more or less the same place. So the tricky part about this is deciding where to put that. Um, so I've been looking around a bit and trying to decide where there's a, a bit of empty space available, should we say. And I think over here, above this, these these things, is, is quite a good area because there's not too many biters around. So if I build, the, I could build potentially build this wall up a bit and across and just wipe out everything inside it. Hopefully that won't be too difficult and that'll give me a, a, a decent amount of space to play around in. That said, before I do that, I need to get the lube supply up here working again because this is this is backed up due to um, too much of these purple gunge things and not enough residual gas as discussed at the end of the last episode. So what I'm going to do first I think is, is head up there and have a look at that. Now, place your bets now as to how far I'll actually get through my um, cunning plan here before I get distracted by yet another fire to fight. <laughs> oh, or before I accidentally run over a, um, an inserter like that. Maybe I need to have some more roads through this designed in the space, so I've got areas where I can just drive through without having to worry too much about random buildings being in the way or anything else to hit. I know one of the other um, Factorio YouTubers has this idea of having um, a grid system of roads set up and the roads are absolutely unviolatable. So Un under no circumstances will he let anything cross one of his... Oh, or, no, things can cross the road, and he can, it's probably okay with belts doing this sort of thing, but under no circumstances is, is he allowed to build anything on the road that will actually stop a vehicle. Um, I've overshot. Lube is back this way somewhere. Um, and that means that he's, uh, he can zip around his base at uh, full speed, as long as he, and as long as he stays on his road, he's, he can be absolutely confident about not hitting anything. I'm sort of trying to do that with these roads down the middle of the railway lines that I've got set up in a few places. And I think some of them work, but uh, there are also quite a lot of places where there's just a random pipe or a pylon or something in the middle of the road, or, or just there isn't a road through, like the one I um, the problem where I had a problem earlier. Okay, so what are these purple things? Oil residuals. Now you think a resi oil residual could get turned into a residual gas relatively easily, wouldn't you? Let's find out. Oh yeah, you just steam it and it turns into into a residual gas. That's really easy. I don't know why I've not been doing this. <laughs> Maybe I didn't realise I was going to have this problem because I've got steam on my fluid bus somewhere. Here we go. And presumably that's going to be done in a oh in a steam cracker. Do I have steam crackers? I don't think so. I don't see any. Let's build one. Or find out if I can. Simple. Uh, oh no, not quite finished. Now what I might do here is stick in one of those inline tanks, if I had any iron, uh, because that'll allow me to make sure that I'm not trying to produce too much from here and overflowing, because, yeah, so if I put in a valve and a tank in here, then it'll make sure that I don't um, for try and produce any of this when when my pipes are otherwise full because I don't want to get to the point where this has produced so much of the residual gas that I, d that I can't get any in from all of the other chemical processes off to the east that are going to be quite that are um, running fairly important things and this is meant to be more of a sort of a, a top up although that said I do need to use it to get rid of this um, purple gun from here so it's not just for that but for once let's get rid of this there we go <laughs> Two of these is probably massively overkill, but never mind. Okay, that should get my lube production back up again. Yes, yeah, so there we go. We've got a bit coming out here. The pipes are a third full. That should hopefully mean my electric motors down here have started ticking over again. Where on earth are they? Here they are. Yes, there goes one. There's a lot down here that aren't being used, but compared to the number of bots I've made, 300 or so, plus another 200 of those, it's not an enormous number. So yeah, here we go. This is this is ticking over again quite happily. I don't think this is going to be entirely sustainable though, because I think that spike was produced basically by this, all this um, 
residual or oil residuals that's, that was backed up along these on these belts. So I'm a bit concerned that we're not going to get any residual gas coming through from the other side of here. Because as you can see, this tank is already getting used up as fast as it's being filled. So as often as has often been the case before, I need to start using more plastic in order to just get this whole system running a bit more actively in order to get the um, everything that's relying on it, which is the sulfur production over here and the uh, and the residual gas which is being made into lubes, bizarrely. Um, otherwise, I might need to find a way to turn naphtha or fuel oil into into residual gas as well. Another thing I was considering was turning fuel oil into some sort of solid fuel to power my trains. I wonder how that goes. Oh, that can be turned into synth gas and residual gas. I don't know if synth gas is being used for anything at the moment. I'll have a look at that in a moment. Here we go, so mix it with coke and you can get solid fuel, which can, yeah, as it says, can be used in a vehicle. I get more acceleration and a slightly better top speed. I don't know how that compares to coal, uh, which I don't seem to have any of in my inventory. No, it's just not telling me in the same way, that's a shame. So it'd be quite nice to get the trains running on some of these things, um, because then they'll obviously they'll, they'll travel much more quickly. This might be a little bit, these might be a little bit out of my reach at the moment. But the solid fuel can be made out of lots of different things. Either of these two, and the synth gas as well. Okay, that's interesting. So if I start making residual, I could turn all of the, both of these tanks into, into, into solid fuel, but I could also turn the, whichever one it was, fuel oil, I think, into, um, synth oil and residual gas so if I get rid of if I, t if I tell that not to do that and to do this one instead and it complains about mixing fluids I wonder which one's complaining problem that one something's gone wrong here fuel oil fuel oil oh that that one is why it's wrong okay gotcha <laughs> there right and then the synth gas I'm producing here can be turned can be mixed with coke and turned into into solid fuel in a liquefier or a chemical plant or well, chemical plants are something I've already got so let's use those I'd say got they're in here I'm sure they are oh boy lots of different ways to make things it's presumably one of these have I researched that no that's why I can't do it. okay uh, let's get some research going so that'll do that. That'll do this recipe. I need I need to get the coke up here as well, though, of course. Have I got... I think I'm producing coke around here somewhere. It's one of these things I'm pulling off coal for. Or am I actually just using it for burning and grenades and stuff? I mean, it's not, it's not a problem. Coke isn't particularly difficult to produce. But I thought if it was already going to be around here somewhere, then I might as well just run off the same feed. But apparently it's not. Of course, one thing I'm going to have to do at some point, if I do switch over to using solid fuel, is remove all of these things that are um, using up, putting coal into trains. Because if I'm, if I start using solid fuel, I don't want to have coal in trains. I just want it to be solid fuel all the way. Now let me just make sure I know how to make coke because I don't want to get it wrong. Crushed coal. Okay, I thought so. In a furnace. I'm not sure if I'm quite researching the right things, but it's, it's close enough. And if, at worst case, I end up uh, with some things I didn't need slightly or things I will probably need later a bit sooner than I really was expecting them <laughs> it's not a problem uh, uh, I don't want you to crush coal there we go so it's this one is that what I'm doing at the moment yes it is good and there was another thick way of making uh, solid fuel as well that I was going to use which was oh it's the fuel or... no it was naphtha there we go so this one and that's also done in a chemical plant so what we'll have over here, solid fuel from naphtha, there we go. I've run out of inserters. Grr. That's not supposed to happen because of the logistics network, but my logistics network isn't really up to snuff yet. Okay, am I producing synthesis gas anywhere else in this area? Because I have a feeling I might be. What do you... It's residual gas that's potentially being burned off, but there's none in it because I found a use for it all. That's fine. Just looking for other sort of those pinky purpley things. That's residual again. Okay, maybe I'm not making synthesis gas. It's something I, I'm sure I remember. It's a name I'm sure I've seen before. But maybe I've just been looking at other recipes or something like that. I'm not sure. Why is this not running? Got enough steam? Have I broken a steam input somewhere? Yeah, obviously that's just too far. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so this should run quite happily with this one using up any of the solid 
products that come out. This one using up any of the yellow liquid that comes out. And both of those are producing the residual gas that goes into the lube and passing off the excess to be turned into solid fuel over here. Now, this... What do I do with this solid fuel? Because <laughs> that now needs to really be over here at the depot and being loaded into all of these trains. I guess what I'm going to have to do is build up a is build a train station over here to pick it up somehow. <laughs> I could put it in here in line with these two, but then because there shouldn't ever be anything parked in these stations for more than a few seconds. That's dirty as anything. I don't really want to, but it would pro yeah, it would work. All right, let's do that because it's a bit of a squeeze up here, and I'm not sure how else to fit it in. <laughs> So I noticed while I was editing one of these videos that I've managed to lose my car along the way. Um, now I'm pretty sure I know where that happened roughly. It was somewhere along this track when I was coming back from having been blowing stuff, uh, but shooting up, shooting up some biters. Um, so I'm going to have to try and find that on the way back. But I've run out of so many different things now that I think it's time to go and have a restock. Actually, this should be on the bus, so this should get built automatically I think I'm not on the bus sorry on the um, the Roboport network yes all of that is so there should be a little fleet of bots buzzing along here somewhere with a load of inserters yes there they are for some reason those are all yellows though um, I had an upgrade planner for this nope wasn't that one all right maybe I didn't maybe I just upgrade them like this I mean to be I'll play this game. To be fair, it doesn't actually matter if those are yellow inserters, except that I don't think I've actually got any, and therefore they won't won't ever get built. Now, did I ever start building boxes on the bus? I've had a feeling I did somewhere. We've got okay, so we've got the the logistics boxes down here, but I th I've a feeling in an early a fairly recent episode, I decided I got a bit fed up with having to do it manually all the time, and always running out. Yeah, here we go. Iron boxes are being built here, so. That station should get filled, finished off. Yes. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Excellent. And then that also means we need over here a station requesting all that stuff and then just piping it down into here. And I guess we should probably have solid fuel being fed in as a priority, but and the coal being passed through as an option, sort of an optional extra, <laughs> um, as an optional replacement rather, just in case we run out of it. It run out of solid fuel. I could make one of these, yeah, if I make this top one, instead of being a depot, I could make that a solid fuel drop-off. That's, that's a possibility. But I'm going to need to have RoboPort coverage in order to do this easily, I think. So I'm going to I'm going to do, get that set up now. And we all know from previous experiences just how slow it is getting a, um, a RoboPort network set up like this. But I'm not going to say it's the easiest way to do it, but it does mean I'll get everything up and working very reasonably soon. <laughs> so we'll call this one solid fuel drop. Oh, of course, I don't have another depot station for it to go to at the moment. Oh, it's going to mess up. All oh, no, actually, that's probably going to be okay, because as soon as another... Tr oh, no, no, it jammed up, didn't it? Because another train can't get out until that one's come back in. Oh, dear. Hopefully this is close enough to where Roboports actually come from that it won't take too long to set it all up. Oh, but we do have to wait for power to be added, and power comes from all the way up here somewhere and that's going to take forever okay this is just going to break the whole train system for a little while oh well maybe i'll head over there and lend a hand i think that's probably a good idea oh here comes some um, bots bringing me replacements for all the stuff i've been using up i mean that's very much appreciated but it feels like bad timing so i'm trying to go somewhere else does anyone else feel bad when they just drive away from bots that have flown halfway across the map to bring them something oh I'll let them chase me it's fine I don't want to give it all my robo ports because then I won't be able to just place them. Okay, so up here we will have. Oh, I don't have any iron boxes. Um, is there a unloading station I can copy without screwing things up too much? Yeah, they're all up here. Except they're on the wrong side of the tracks, and therefore oh, they don't quite. All right, <laughs> copy a bit less. Don't get the. In fact, it's just that much, isn't it? And copy those back in down here to uh, let us unload the train, finish off the power of course as well, and uh, let the bots do the hard work.
Okay, I'm going to pause it here, I think. Um, maybe throw in a little bit of belt first, but um, I think this is a good point to end the end the episode. It's been about 15 minutes of play, so um, I think we'll stop here, if I can manage to do this without overwriting everything. Um, as always, thank you for watching. I'm going to just, just keep going, so the next episode will carry on where this one left off. Uh, I hope you'll join me for that in a couple of days' time, and um, I hope you're enjoying it. See you then.